Community Organized Eco Restoration, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 142. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 142, December 13th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transfer the first 50% of the written content for the winter lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of winter. Behind the scenes, we also wrote the final third of the winter lesson plan, bringing the behind the scenes written part of that to 100% complete and ready for addition to the site. We also completed the final third of the mind map for the fall lesson plan. That brings this mind map to 100% complete, which you can see here, and we've now added to the website. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food behind the scenes updated the calculations you see here for our food cell sufficiency transition plan. Naturopathic Dr. Matt Monterano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, made the updates to the calculations by taking into account the specific nutrient needs of our current Pioneer team. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan. These recipes are chestnut and avocado bruschetta, vegan meatball soup, and zucchini pizza with pine nut cheese. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team working on highest good housing put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revisions for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week's focus was converting single bag details over to tubed bags, bailing twine tying updates due to exclusion of the buttress wall, and rewriting the foundation construction due to exclusion of the buttress wall. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say this brings us to 56% complete with this total rewrite and update. We also added the written portion of the presentation the intern team created for the Treehouse Village Pod 7, as you can see here. This includes the considerations and rationale for the service design, interior exterior design, and structural design choices the interns made. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician 
if you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished the 3D natural pool and spa internal details for the Duplicable City Center 3D specifics. You can see these additions here with plants, rocks, the design of the transition door, people, and other aesthetic touches. We also finished designing the upper loft social and recreation space for the social dome. You can see this addition of furniture and people here. We'd say we're now 85% done with the complete 3D update. Ira Sue, industrial designer, continued finalizing the pipe furniture design renders for the Duplicable City Center Library. The new renders you see here show an additional layout for the chair table combination designs. Jarvis Zhao and Michelle Wu, both industrial designers, also continued working together on the designs for the pipe shelving for the library. Here are some of Michelle's explorations into different furniture options and Jarvis's designs for the shelving that incorporate a movable box option we all explored. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and Lucas Tetsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued work on the control systems design. Here's revision number six for this. And here is one of Mike's other designs he was using for clarification and some drawing he was doing to explain it to Lucas and I on our weekly call. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team began updating the highest good network page with what has been weeks of work with Andrew Herman, software engineer and core member of Futures Playground. This page shares the details of the open source software we're creating together for complete teacher demonstration hub management, data gathering, open source collaboration, and more. We say this page is about 50% complete. We also continued working with Ivan Manzarov, artist and illustrator, to create new icons for all of our pages. Here are the icons Ivan created for the highest good education component. In addition to this, Lisa Ramos, graphic designer, completed all these logo variations for us that led to this new and updated design for our logo. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. Ultimately, what one community is doing is creating community organized eco restoration models that also provide a better way of living. Our idea is that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough to live in sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, then the idea will spread on its own. To make it easy enough and affordable enough, one community is creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Components of highest good living that we've identified as most important to start with are food, well, the foundations of physical infrastructure or physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining those with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability to teach people how to run community-organized eco-restoration hubs that host people, teach them how to create these hubs as well. We believe, as I said, if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, the idea of community-organized eco-restoration models that provide a way of living that most people will consider to be far better than the way that they're living right now will spread its own and transform this planet within one generation. If you run the numbers on the idea of one community of 50 people expanding to 100 people, 200 people, but helping to start another community of 50 people, and those two communities helping to start four more communities, and those four communities helping to start eight more teacher demonstration hubs, and those eight teacher demonstration hubs helping to start 16 more sustainable villages, communities, villages, cities, and sustainable hubs. That idea of self-replication can transform this planet and positively impact the lives of every single living person and creature on this planet within 30 years. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. 
We believe that it's possible, and so we're calling out to the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that would like to join us in creating this process, in creating this community-organized eco-restoration model, this teacher demonstration hub, the first of which will be one community. This is what we're doing. If this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, something that you'd like to participate in, we invite you to join us as either a collaborator or a volunteer or even as one of the pioneer members that intend to move to the property and live in one community, operate one community, and to host tens of, tens of thousands, ultimately hundreds of thousands of people sharing what it is that we're doing and helping to teach the world how to replicate it and to modify it and adapt it and create their own versions, their own iterations of one community that meet the diverse needs of humanity while providing more and more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for others to do the same thing. This is our self-replicating model. We talk about building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism. The idea is that if we simultaneously address all of the foundations of the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come, then we will create a model that truly can positively impact the lives of everyone. And we believe this idea of simultaneously addressing all the foundations is not only because they are interrelated, but because they're interdependent. And we think it's really the only way to truly, truly transform the planet is to look at the entire living model and say, how can we live better? How can we feel better? How can we take better, take better care of the planet while we're doing that in a way that is more affordable, more enjoyable, and that is accessible to everybody? bringing the money and the resources where it's needed most around the world, addressing social injustice, poverty, homelessness, the lack of energy infrastructure, education, looking at all of these things and saying, okay, let's take everything that we have learned through history to get to where we are right now, and let's build a better model, essentially from scratch, but built off of the successes that are already happening around the world, putting everything together in one complete model, one complete community-organized eco-restoration model designed to duplicate itself, to be modifiable, adaptable, but most importantly, replicable. So this is what we're up to. Easiest way to help us, share information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Tumblr, we're on Sue, we're on Reddit, Pinterest, you name it. We're on all of those, LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to get the information, the free information that we're creating in the hands of as many people as possible so that we can bring together a larger and larger team to continue to evolve and adapt and grow all of these plans and eventually build one community. Which, of course, leads me to the next, the most, biggest, the biggest thing that can help us right now, which is we are still seeking large-scale funding. We're a 501c3 nonprofit organization of 100% unpaid volunteers. But we're seeking large scale funding to get the property off the market so we can bring the team together in a physical location so we can host, start hosting immediately so we can host 50 people, then 100, then within the first six months, 150, 200 people, and expand to hosting tens of thousands of people as quickly as possible so that people can see what we're doing, get hands on experience, and so we can start building the physical models and open sourcing, taking our entire open source process to the next level, exponentially increasing everything that we're doing right now, and forming this idea of community organized eco restoration as quickly as possible. So if you are somebody with the funding, if you're somebody who knows the funding, who would like to either donate in our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in one community as a nonprofit organization, we would absolutely love to speak with you. We believe that the, I, the time for this idea has come and this idea is ready to blossom into a reality, a physical, tangible experience that people can come, visit, if they like it, take everything that's necessary to be able to replicate it and take it and do this somewhere else in the world. Spreading across the planet, helping people everywhere where we build something like this, but most importantly, teaching others to build something like this too. Making it easier and easier with each iteration and developing a new way of living that truly transforms the way people look at the experience of living, look at their relationship with their local community, with the planet, with their much larger community that is planet Earth and our, our global family that is humanity working together and focusing on a culture of cooperation, collaboration, and working together rather than competition. Because we think that we can get more done 
when we cooperate and collaborate. And so our entire model is designed to make that as easy as possible through open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. We invite you to join us. We thank everybody for following our progress. We thank everybody for the small donations that we get. They really help cover the expenses that are surprisingly large for a nonprofit organization like ours. Just our web expenses and the little details of running a global, global website and a global team like we do, none of us are paid, but the foundational expenses of just keeping everything operating, uh, the small donations really help out with that. So thank you for that. Thank you for following our progress. And as always, I say, uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. And until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.